Hi, we're at Mobile World Congress 2017. My name's Tim Fajidi Yuhas, and we're at Innovation City. And I want to show you a interesting uh, use case for our CS business messaging that we developed with our client Virgin Trains. Virgin Trains came to us because they have a problem at Houston Station. When they announce the platform on the overhead, everybody rushes to that same platform all at once and it's creating a really bad user experience for them. So they came to us, Open Market, where we worked with them to provide them an SMS solution where 25% of their uh, passengers get a text message before that announcement goes off. And then those 25% gracefully go over to the platform, thereby smoothing out the surge. And then when they measured the customer satisfaction, they found that the people both getting the text messages and even those that weren't were happier in terms of their boarding experience. So we approached them regarding RCS messaging and basically said, let's look at how we could reimagine what that user experience would be. And so let's go over to the other side and see a demo of what that'll look like. Okay, so we're looking at the Android messaging uh, inbox. So I'm going to pretend I'm a passenger on Virgin Trains. And the first thing that happens is I'm going to get a uh, text message today. So I can click on that. And I see this is the example of the kind of text message that we're providing today to a uh, customer on Virgin Trains. But if we reimagine that experience, this is the RCS message that you get. One of the first things you'll notice is that the brand is clearly spelled out at the top. So I know who this message is coming from, Virgin Trains. The other thing is I have my ticket, a high resolution image of the QR code right inside my message inbox. In addition, I see that I need to go to platform six, but maybe I'm not familiar with this station and I don't know how to get to platform six. So I have this button down here called station map that I will press and now I know that okay here I am in the concourse this is the walkway I want to go to and that's station six furthermore I know the direction of the train and I'm at carriage E so I walk over there but the doors haven't opened yet because they're waiting to announce the uh, platform to the rest of the passengers so I see there's other options and I decide well it's going to be a long journey so maybe I want to check out the onboard entertainment options. And I see that, oh, Virgin Trains offers a video app and I can get that app. So I will click on that button and I have a deep link that goes directly into Google's Play Store right to that app, making it convenient for me to install it. So I decide I'm going to download and install that app. And I've done that, and I'm going to go back, navigate back to the station map. And because I want to see, essentially, what is my seat. I don't remember, did I get an aisle seat or a window seat for this uh, trip? So I'm looking at carriage six, and oh yeah, that's right, I got a aisle seat over here. So I get on the train now, everyone else is on as well. Train starts to roll away. Well, I might have gotten that initial message via my operator because RCS messaging is IP-based messaging, but now I can use Wi-Fi as well to continue my journey. And I decide that, you know what, I think I'm a little hungry or thirsty, so I want to see what options they have. And I see they even have some offers here, so I'm going to see if I want to take advantage of what they're offering. And I look and I see they have food combined with uh, beverage. But you know what? I think I want to see the full menu because I want to know what the specific beverages are there. And so that's a PDF that I can get to. So thank you. This was an example of how Virgin Trains is considering using RCS messaging to improve their customer's journey.